Welcome to the Unapologetic Vixen Podcast, Owning Pleasure as a Black Woman. I'm Natasha, a licensed sex therapist and certified sex and intimacy coach on a mission to empower Black women to choose a life of pleasure, not just today, but every day. There is nothing more powerful than a Black woman that authentically owns her pleasure and sensuality. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the gems. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Unapologetic Fixin' Podcast, Owning Pleasure as a Black Woman. This is it. This is officially the last episode for season two. I did it. We did it. I am so proud of myself. I'm probably more proud of myself for finishing season two than I was for finishing season one because... This just shows my growth when it comes to consistency and visibility. So if you are new here, definitely go back, listen, catch up on these two seasons. um, And I will look forward to continuing this journey with you. I wanted to kind of reflect. I'm actually on a CEO solo retreat Um, the first of many because I really enjoy it you might be able to hear like the birds and everything in the background I rented a tiny house for the weekend and y'all it's 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 a tiny house you walk in and every it's literally everything is bow in your face tiny house but it's perfect for me and what I needed to do so the plan was for me to prepare for Q2, get myself ahead so that I have more space. So this has been very helpful. And technically I'm on my scheduled lunch break sitting outside in their garden. So I figured why not just while I'm feeling really good on the inside, go ahead and record this. So there are a few things that I really would like for you to take away. Um, from this season one is like who are you who are you when it's just you when no one else is around when there's no distractions when there's no noise when it literally is just you and your thoughts and do you like that person do you like the person you are when you get to be by yourself when it's quiet or Are you nervous about that space? Are you, would you prefer to be distracted? And if so, because I literally had a client tell me a couple days ago, the fear of sitting with herself. She's completely afraid of sitting with herself because she doesn't know what's on the other side of her thoughts. And I'm going to encourage you, if you can resonate with her, to do it anyway. Um, there's so much magic that comes with sitting with those uncomfortable feelings. And I can attest to it because when I got here and I was finally in and my stuff, you know, I got myself comfortable in the middle of eating dinner last night, I immediately became very overwhelmed with emotion and I had no clue where it was coming from. I had no clue honestly no clue why I was so emotional I wasn't scared I wasn't sad I just a lot of emotion was bubbling up being here by myself so I definitely had to journal through that and I reached out to my coach and she just reminded me that I was safe so that was really helpful and this is my reminder to you that whenever you're sitting by yourself in your thoughts do know that you're safe do know that you're okay and do know that you do deserve to clear out whatever it is that's sitting on you that's holding you from going to the next level Um, so that's one two really do an inventory of your support system I know one of the episodes that we did this season was about friends and 
I have come to my own conclusions and those around me have come to their own conclusions about how important it is for us to have people in our corner, people in our circle that are going to not just be there for us, but also be honest with us. In this particular season of my life, I want to focus on community. I want to focus on being around the people that I love, that I genuinely enjoy spending time with laughing with all the things like I I want to do that I don't want to be immersed in my business anymore I don't want to constantly be in my business I want to be in my life and just know for those that say that black women don't get along we very much do we very much do and we need each other in this world there are just experiences that we have there are things that need to be talked about there are things that we can just sit in each other's space and not talk about but understand we need that we deserve that type of that type of love from someone and it's a reflection I know my mentor um, always says when you tell her something nice about herself she goes thank you I'm just a reflection of you and I'm really recognizing how true that is like if there's an issue that you may have with someone or you don't like someone or you just get bad vibes there's a difference between understanding the energy that they bring and understanding is it something in you that they bring out that you don't like but for sure for sure for sure you don't need to do this life by yourself now I'm not saying you have to have a million and one people in your life no because that that gets really overwhelming and hard to kind of navigate through but just a circle just a circle where you know each one of those people gets to see the real you the real you because what we're doing what we're moving towards is being our whole last self every day in front of everyone with no regrets So make sure that you surround yourself around those people. And lastly, be your whole self. Be your whole self unapologetically. And if you're not her, and you know if you're not her, right? If if there are still dreams that you have, if there are still things that you want to do, if there's still places that you want to go, people to see, and you haven't allowed yourself to do it, you're not being your full self, right? Because those things encompass who you are. Those experiences encompass who you are. And you have to know that it's okay to do, see, and have. And it may seem like you can't do it like how am I going to get this done there's so many things on my schedule there's so many responsibilities I have so many people are counting on me I want you to sit with that because nowhere in there did I say anything about you you showing up for you and that's just as important as you showing up for everyone else in your life One of the things that I recognized as I was journaling through my feelings um, yesterday, the emotion that was bubbling up was, I did this. It was, it was like a, oh my gosh, I, I did this. Cause you know, we're, we're so quick to have a goal, cross the goal off and keep it moving. And I have been intentional. I'm still working on it because work in progress of really paying attention to the seeds that I've sown and what blossoms instead of just focusing on putting the seeds down putting the seeds down putting the seeds down I'm really looking at what has blossomed from the past seeds that I've put down and just me being here in this space here at this tiny house planning out the next you know, the next three months of myself and my business, I did that. I get to do this. I get to have this. 
I get to sit out here in this garden and listen to the birds and talk to you. I get to disappear for a weekend and not worry about anyone needing anything from me. I get to disappear for a weekend and not call anybody. I get to disappear. I get to just be. And though there is a lot of doing here, there's also a lot of breaks. There's also a lot of space. There's also a lot of dancing and singing and just enjoying this time with myself. And you can have that. You most definitely can have that. I'm here to tell you, you can have it. It's a sequence of very scary decisions. Um, My very first decision that led to where I am right now is leaving my corporate job. Scariest decision. I will never stop sharing how scary that decision was. And ooh, a B. Um, (laughs) the The scary decisions that come up have come up throughout this journey my understanding of of money and my my money traumas and what I I, what I identify as success in my life and looking at those definitions y'all know I'm big about my definitions um and just learning what it unlearning let me say unlearning what it means to be a productive black woman in this world I don't want to be defined by, you know, what I can do, right? I don't want to be defined by that. I want to be defined as me. I want you to be defined as you. I don't, I don't want people to say, oh, yeah, because she's a mom. She's a great mom. She's a great wife. Like, those things are great, but there's so much more to you than the roles you play and the things that you do for other people and how you show up for other people you are amazing just because you are just because you woke up today you are and you deserve you deserve to believe that you deserve to feel that and I'm gonna add one more before I wrap this up because it's very in line with closing out this season um I give myself a pat on the back for getting through two seasons, but I also give myself a pat on the back for resting because I don't know if you've heard me say it before, but I, I very much struggle with comparison um, and what other people are doing and how, how come this isn't happening for me or how can I align it just like that to get answers. And through this journey, again of of doing this season I've learned to trust myself and do it how I want to do it how I see fit what feels good for me Um, and that's a hard separation it's a hard separation and I'll do an episode next season about what I had to do to navigate this comparison that I know a lot of you struggle with too Um, but rest is so important for me and so while I watch, you know, people do episodes and I listen to podcast episodes where they just keep running it and running it and running it. And they've got like season 567 and they're like, I haven't taken a week off from podcasting in three years. And I used to be envious of that. I used to be like, oh man, like, how can I do that? How can I show up to this podcast every single week for the next two years, three years so that I can grow it, so that I can monetize it, so I can X, Y, and Z. And I, that's not my focus anymore. That is not my focus anymore. I prioritize my rest. I prioritize sharing my story, sharing my client's story. I prioritize giving you tips. I prioritize helping you move, even if it's just one step, helping you move. All the rest of the things, if it's meant to be, it will be but that's not for me to worry about. All I want from this project, from this labor of love to you throughout this podcast is for you to know that you're important, for you to know that pleasure exists for you in so many ways that are beyond the bedroom and that there's someone here that wants to support you. 
that women that look like you are doing this and they're doing it good and it, they're successful at it. They're successful at resting, at taking care of themselves, at doing things for themselves, at really waking up every day and enjoying their lives. They're out here doing it. And you can too. And so you, as long, you could just keep listening to the podcast and you'll be able to do it, right? You'll, you'll never, you don't even have to work with me. I would love to work with you. I would love to see you, you know, in my, my retreats and help coach you and see you at my events just so I can see your face and say hello. Um, but even if that's something that you never do, just from listening to these episodes, you can take a step. You can take a step. So I appreciate you. I truly, truly appreciate you. I'm going to put the link in the show notes for you to just drop what's on your heart. If you want to talk and share and chat, you just go to the link in the show notes. Let me know what resonated with you in this episode and we can schedule a call just to chat and see how I could possibly support you or just say hi. Um, Rest. I will be back with another season, but for this, for now, I'm going to rest. I'm going to have fun, spend time with my family, and I'm going to find new topics for you. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will be talking to you soon. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Unapologetic Vixen podcast, Owning Pleasure as a Black Woman. If you enjoyed this episode, like, leave a comment, and share it with someone you know could use the space. If you're ready to tap into your pleasure, join the virtual Vixen Suite. It's a safe space for Black women to gain support and empowerment as they access pleasure, intimacy, and satisfying sex every day. And remember, pleasure is your right, boo.